Hi, brothers and sisters. I wanted to share my son, my oldest son, his near-death experience that he had when he was 10 years old. Now, since then, um, he actually had died when he was 13 years old. And I know I'm going to see him again in heaven. I wanted to tell you that before he actually died, he had a near-death experience in which he was 10 years old and he was dead for a total of 40 minutes. Not four minutes, but 40. What happened is he had a near-drowning experience. He was gone for 40 minutes, like I said before. When he, they brought him back to life, they said that he was going to be a vegetable because he went without oxygen for so long, for 40 minutes. And they said there was no way that he would be normal again. Um, of course, we all know that uh, God can do anything, right? Let's just say my son was not brain dead when they brought him back to life. He was on life support for five days, but he pulled through. His mind was perfectly fine. However, his lungs and his heart was not. So that's why he ended up dying three years later when he was 13. I am going to get into his near-death experience right now. I'm going to tell you what exactly he told me when he died and when he was brought back, what he told me on the details. This is what he said, okay? He said, Mom, he said, when I was down in the water, I seen this guy walking towards me. He was wearing a white robe. He had long, brown, curly hair, and his eyes were kind of golden. And he had a slash of gold, like a belt around his waist. And I said, who was he? And he says, I think he was Jesus. He said, it was the rock and roll dude. And I said, the rock and roll dude? <laughs> And he said, yeah, well, he kind of looked like a rock and roll dude because of the long hair. <laughs> and this is coming from a 10-year-old. So as you guys know, you know, uh, uh, kids have an imagination and they sometimes don't know how to express uh, everything they see. But he said, I think it was Jesus. And then at the end of the dream, he said, I know it was Jesus. But what happened is he said, right when he was down in the water, he seen him walking towards him, but then he also seen to the to the one side of him, he said there was a black hole that had opened up inside the water, and this ugly creature came out and was trying to grab him. And he said, Jesus said to him, he said, go ahead and kick him in the teeth. He said, go ahead, kick him in the teeth. And he said, so he kicked him in the teeth, and he said the creature went, made this noise and went back in his hole. And then the hole closed up. And then he said, Jesus said to him, I know your mother. And he said, I'm going to uh, take you to another place. And he said, grab my hand. And my son said he took his hand. And he said, next thing I knew, Mom, he says, I was flying in the air. He said, I was flying way up in the clouds. And he said, the clouds looked like little cotton balls. And he said, I was flying way up. And we kept on going way, way, way up past space and past everything. And he said, I could see the planets and that. And he said, he went far, far up. And he said, Jesus took him to the city. And I said, a city? I said, what kind of city was it? And he said, well, everything was kind of crystallized. Like everything looked kind of crystally and shiny. He said, the streets were actually paved with gold and they were very shiny and sparkly. And he said, there were many mansions there and they were all sparkly and they looked like big castles and just beautiful. And he said, everything, all the colors were like more beautiful there than they are here on earth. 
that there were a lot of babies there. And he said, Mom, I couldn't understand why there were so many babies in this place. He said they had these workers that would take care of these babies until someone in their family had come up there to, you know, take care of them. He said there were workers for everything up in heaven. And he said everybody was loving. He said it was like you were all one big happy family. And he said, Mom, I never felt so much love in a place in my whole entire life. He said, even though I loved you, I didn't want to come back. He said, I was so happy. I felt so much love. He said, I could fly. He said, if I had a thought in my mind, if I thought, well, I wonder if this is going to happen. He said, it was like it, the answer came to him automatically. He said, it's like when you go to heaven that your mind is transformed and you instantly have the mind of Jesus. You instantly have powers and you have abilities and things. He said, well, then I asked the rock and roll dude. He said, Jesus, but he said the rock and roll dude. He said, then I asked him, um, what's going to happen, you know, with my mom and my brother and everything. He said he was shown the future. He said he was shown that there was going to be a World War III that was going to take place on the earth. He said his brother was going to get into the army and that his brother was going to get on the wrong side in life, which he's referring to my son, Daniel. He said he was going to get on the wrong side in life, but he would figure it out in the end. I asked him, I said, well, where was I during this World War III? He said, you were not on earth. He said, I, he said, you were already in heaven. Apparently, I'm going to be up in heaven before this happens. He said, with World War III, he said, mom, he said, people think they are going to have to worry about World War III. He said, that's not what people have to worry about, mom. He said, there's something bad and evil coming. And I said, oh, really? I said, what's that? And he said, it's the war of the demons, the war of the alien demons. That's what he called them. He's called them alien demons. He said that there were these creatures, these demon alien type creatures. And he said they were evil and they were part of Satan's army and that Satan was going to wage war upon this world and try to destroy everyone here. And he said... World War III is going to be bad. He said, but it's nothing, nothing compared to the war that is coming from the alien demonic beings. He said they were going to come to Earth and try to destroy it, and they were going to eat people. This is what he told me. He said they were going to eat people. These demon, demon alien things. And as you know, there are no aliens. They are going to portray themselves as aliens, but they're demons. He said they were demons. He called them demonic aliens, but he said they were demons. They were creatures, and they were from Satan, and he said they were going to wage war upon this earth, and they were going to eat people, and, and I was like, oh, wow, you know. So that was what his experience was, you guys. That's what my son told me. And what is so weird is my other son, he hasn't had his brother in so many years because, you know, he died. It's been like uh, over 16 years that he's been gone. And what's funny, not funny, <laughs> actually, it's not really funny, is my son did join the army. That is actually lining up. He's not in the army now, but he was. So that is actually lining up with exactly what my son told me about what would happen. So I have a feeling what's going to happen is my son, being he was in the army at one time, is going to be drafted when World War III begins. Just wanted to share that with you. And I think the babies... Um, he said there are a lot of babies there. I think those are the babies that are being aborted. Um, the women that are having abortions, those are all the babies that are being aborted. That there are workers that take care of these babies until someone in their family comes for them. 
forgot to tell you guys that my son said that he would die finally when his mission, his mission assignment on Earth was done. And I never knew what that meant until the day he died. When he died, at the age of 13, he had so many from his school come up, you know, uh, so many, and so many were crying, and they were like, your son was like the nicest kid we ever met. Your son was, was so wonderful. And they actually held a church service, you guys, and that night, they used my son's testimony about his life, about how he was as a person, because he was a really good kid, you guys. He was he was awesome. But they used his testimony. And you know, that night, four, uh, 13, 14 kids went down to the altar and gave their life to Jesus Christ. So what I'm saying is my son, he completed his mission at his death because 14 kids were saved because of his testimony, because of his life, and because of how he lived his life. He was a good kid, and he gave his heart to Jesus when he was a little boy, and he he had such a good heart, you guys, and I can't wait to see him again in heaven. I wanted to share that when you die, you're going to go to heaven or hell. You have got to make a choice. If you don't know Jesus Christ today, ask him into your heart. Ask him into your heart. Ask him into your heart.